cristallology is the description and study of crystals. Understanding and mastery only came about in the early 20th century. Natural crystals take thousands of years to grow. If you ever try growing some, you need to wait at least 15 days for them to grow. This experiment demonstrates crystal growth from an aqueous solution using potassium aluminium sulfate, known as alum. The substance crystallizes easily in the form of octahedra. To do this experiment, we'll need potassium alum, which is a sort of salt. Later on, we'll also need a kettle full of boiling water. Three containers in which we will dilute the alum in boiling water. A spoon to dilute the solution. We'll also need food dye, blue, yellow, and red. We'll need a paintbrush, scissors, and glue. And finally, we'll need eggs. Oh, and I nearly forgot, we need time, about a dozen hours. And we need a storage place where cats are not invited. Okay, so now we will empty that egg because we need to use the eggshell. Now I'm going to put a hole at the top of the egg and of course another hole at uh, the bottom of the egg. Then I'm going to blow in one of the holes to empty the egg. So now I'm going to cut this eggshell in two to have two halves. We'll now remove some of the skin of the egg. If you're hungry for an omelette, you can break more eggs and have more shells. Make sure they dry before the next step. You can clean them a bit. Okay. Now, let's put some glue in all the eggshells. Let's put the glue in each shell and spread it evenly with a paintbrush. Now we will use the alum. Put quite a lot of it in each eggshells. Now spread the potassium alum in all the eggshells so that it covers all the surface. Now remove the excess alum. We boil the water to 100 degrees and now we can pour it in the containers. Now let's empty this bag of potassium alum into the boiling water. Pour about one third of the bag in each of the containers. Now stir the alum with a spoon so that it dissolves fully. Important fact, potassium alum melts above 92 degrees Celsius. You can see that the salt is completely dissolved in the water. Now, let's put the food dye into each container. Let's mix it up. Let's push carefully the eggshells at the bottom of the containers.
Let's put them on safe storage overnight. Now let's carefully remove the eggshells from the containers. Be careful, crystals are very, very fragile. You can see some of the eggshells have captured some beautiful crystals. We also scraped crystals at the bottom of the containers. Let's spread them to see the different crystals. This blue one is our most beautiful specimen in this batch. Notice how these crystals have very geometrical shapes. We ran this experiment multiple times to obtain very beautiful crystals. The crystal is characterized by the orderly repetitive arrangement in 3D of the ions, atoms or molecules that make up the crystals. For example, salt, which is sodium chloride, crystallizes in the form of cubes. Each sodium ion is surrounded octahedrally by six chloride anions, which are negative, and each chloride by six sodium cations, which are positive. Growing crystals requires very specific conditions. Potassium alum, however, crystallizes easily in the form of octahedra, and typically much quicker than salt. Got it? It should be crystal clear by now. Thank you! Please like and share if you learned something interesting today.